In today's news, the VW Tiguan Allspace to be replaced, sticking with VW we bid farewell to one of their models, finally BMW has made the new M2 a gem. Put on your seatbelts and welcome to Dead Drive News. Volkswagen has begun re-looking at its current lineup and evaluating profitability for the future. And with that in mind, the first vehicle to face the X is the seven-seater Tiguan Allspace, which, according to VW, is not making sales. But this will leave a gap between the normal Tiguan and the Touareg. So Volkswagen will be introducing a new model to plug the gap, the China-only Tyron. But before you get all excited by what you see, this is the first-gen Tyron and the gap will be filled by the second gen, which is currently under development and will go on sale in 2025 according to Autocar. This second gen Tyron will be built on the latest version of the MQT platform with extensive updates to increase performance, comfort and refinement. The usual turbo petrol and diesel engine lineups are expected, but with mild hybrid tech and full motion all-wheel drive will be available on certain derivatives. Again, the global reveal might only be in early 2025, so make sure you subscribe to get more information about this model as and when it comes. Sticking with Volkswagen, carrying on with their streamlining strategy, the striking Artyan is also facing the axe. It was discontinued in SA some time ago on the back of poor sales to the point where we do not get the current facelifted version which included the R model. When it arrived in SA, it really impressed as it was something unique with its liftback four door coupe design and the balance between performance and economy. I'm sad to see this model go, but Ningas Tutuza with the few that are on the used market. From sad news to more sad news for BMW enthusiasts, as BMW M is killing off the dual clutch and manual gearboxes. In an interview with Top Gear, head of development at BMW M, Dirk Jaka, confirmed that the last manually equipped BMW M would be the current gen M2, which will be around until 2030 with the CS Limited Edition. Engaging and pure driving experience have just been shown the door. DCT BMW fans are also out of luck as there are no plans for that as they are moving to conventional automatics, which is better than the DCT in daily driven scenarios. So what do you guys think about this move by BMW M? Will you miss the manual and DCT on the M cars? Oh, very, very, you want the target market, so only now. We have reached our destination for today. Let's take this ride again next time. If you like what you saw, please like, subscribe, share this video with your friends and their friends and their friends' friends. You know what? Just share it to everyone.